Good day, it's Rita from Gringo to Tico again, and now we're going to talk about shopping and where to buy things for your house. As you're moving here or being here, and you really don't have a clue where to go to buy pillows, cutlery, dishes, those kinds of things without spending an arm and a leg and getting what you want, the, the, the designs, the, the whatever you want, right? That's really important for each of us. So because we live in a pretty rural area down here on the Bayana Coast, we're three and a half hours from San Jose, we're an hour and a half from the Panamanian border. It means a trip to San Jose or, or an hour to San Isidro for us. But so what we've learned is like household things, you can go to Golfito, for a lot of things, your appliances, it's, I just had clients here two weeks ago and they had been shopping for their appliances in San Jose because they got storm stayed up there and then they came down here and I took them to Golfito and their prices were about 20% less on the exact same washer, dryer, fridge, stove combinations that they were looking for. They were looking for higher end products, products, the really high end Frigidaire models and so that was a good, that was good refresher for me. Um, Golfito has has warranties. You know, we got the guy to deliver it for $150 to the to oh, hotel. It's all those kinds of things. Um, they also have really good cutlery there at the Italian store. They have, you know, a lot of stuff is available there. You just have to go down the one day, get your tarjeta, wait 24 hours, and do your buy. So what I usually do with the clients is the first day we go get our tarjeta, we look at everything. We get all the fracturas, the, the invoices for what things are going to cost. Sometimes we even put a d deposit on things because they don't have a lot of choice. Uh, they might only have two or three of each thing. And if they happen to sell it, they happen to sell it before you get back. So sometimes we'll do that. Other things is, you know, because we live close to the Panamanian border, it's going to Panama for things, going going to the actual Paso Canoas Frontera, which has great prices on things and you can get a lot of things. But there's some things you just can't get good quality for. So then we go right into Panama to David, to the Do It Center, to the Ray store, um, to the, the um, Campion store, which is great for buying clothes and sheets and stuff like that. It's a three-story department store right downtown David. So that's really good. And you're allowed to bring, if you stay out of Costa Rica for three days in Panama, you're allowed to bring $500 back as a couple, I believe it is, um, into Costa Rica without paying any duty on it. So you just, it's not a big deal, right? When we were building our house, we frequently had over that, so then we'd have to go to the customs place behind where you get your passport stamped and, and fill out a form with all our receipts, and then they would do a stamp in the back of our passport, and that person couldn't do that for another six months. It wasn't a big deal. We figured it out. The other things, you, place you want to go is San, San Isidro. I mean, there's a lot of places in San Isidro to shop and look around along the main street of downtown San Isidro, but the best place to go and get like your household things, like your pillows and your pretty pots and your dishes, is San Jose. And our three favorite stores are Elise, Universal, and Pequeño Mundo. Pequeño Mundo was started about ten, nine years ago, ten years ago, by a lady from the United States who was having trouble getting things for her children. So that's why it's Pequeño Mundo, small world. She was importing things for children because children's things were super expensive and hard to get here. And now she's expanded and it's all houseware. She's raised food. Her stores are massive warehouse style and the prices are fabulous. What she has is what she has. She probably won't have it next time you go. So if you see something you're interested in, you need to get at that trip. But she's got some amazing dishes and stuff in there. Oh, my gosh, they're beautiful in my world anyway. Um, Elise is a middle of the range to high end, depending on what you're looking for. Um, houseware store like Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Sense, those, not Home Sense. Um, what's the other one I'm thinking of? I can't remember right now. I've been away from North America too long. I can't remember the names of these stores. But, and then Universal is very similar. So they give you, between those two, and there, now there's a, um, a brand new mall right by the airport in San Jose, just down the hill in Alajuela, and it has Universal and Elise in there, and they're really nice stores. I was in there in June of 2017, and they're, they're really good stores, and it's really convenient. And then basically across the street is the great big huge Walmart. For those of us who, you know, we don't like Walmart, but when you live in Costa Rica, sometimes you gotta go there because it's the only place you can get those things that you want plastics and stuff, although Pequeno Mundo is best for your plastics. Um, so so that's all right in there. And then there is a Pequeno Mundo in, in, in uh, Isla Whale as well. There's also a Pequeno Mundo in, in Escazú, just up from Price Mart and um, the, it's one of the Sheratons uh, and the big mall, the big multi-plaza. So, and there's a new Price Mart on the west, on the outside of San Jose that I've not been at yet on Highway 27, further out more towards Sa uh, Santa, Santa Ana's intersection and stuff like that. So those are the places where we get our things. We do do a Price Mart slash Costco shop 
you know, once a year at least because paper products are cheaper there than they are down here at the beach, especially down in the Bayana Coast. Um, North American style cheddar cheese and things like that. We can't get down here, so we get it there. Um, it's even hard to get at the border. We can get it in Dabit at the Price Smart there. Um, there's just some things that you just want to get at, at Price Smart. So we do a buy there once whenever we go to we don't go to San Jose very often, but it's usually like once a year. So we do our do a fairly big buy then. So that's you know, where do you get those nice things for your house and how do you finish it off? So that's that story. And so once again, this is Rita from Green Go to Tico.